Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. Now we are at the final part of the um, SQL Server course resource governor and in this uh, sub-series we will learn about uh, resource governor and how to allocate resource using the resource governor. So in this sub-series, you will learn how to create work group, classifier function, all those stuff. But uh, to really see how resource governor is allocating the resource and uh, how the resource are uh, uh, given from the resource pool, you need a uh, production database. But uh, anyhow, here you will learn the concepts of creating the work group and uh, uh, defining the classifier function and uh, assigning the user to a specific workload group all those concepts you will learn here in this uh, sub series now let's go to the introduction with uh, resource governor we can control and monitor how system resources are consumed by certain database operation so we can do both you can control and monitor how system resources are allocated so that's the duty of a resource governor so it governs the resource so that's a specific object management object in a school server and there is one more called workload a workload in a school server is a client request to fulfill a task so the client request can be anything say a client can hit the database to query data from a specific table or it can be a hit to create a view in the database so workload is a SQL server client request to fulfill a task it can be identified as a user workload can be a user or it can be a host name or even a login name so host name workload if we consider like that in a large scale uh, database based application that will be a host name uh, or a group of host name that uh, hits the specific area of the database say for example in a online retail shop or uh, in a purchase store at a building desk there may be people in queue with uh, loads of uh, packs in their basket and there will be 10 or 20 billing uh, operators who work on the front end terminal and those terminals and whenever the uh, builder scans the product with audio code and makes the billing the specific table in the database will be hit so this group of workstation we can call it as a billing workstation or the host name that belongs to a specific work group so we can call that workload as a billing workload right likewise there may be another operation like um, uh, in some other uh, uh, store related action on the retail shop people may do purchasing so that may be a different host name so workload you can assume it as a user or it can be a host name or even a login name for example a workload of generating a report have good db hit and consume cpu as well as memory this can be governed by resource governor with the resource governor one can create workload group and how control can be used towards it the rg that means resource governor depends on resource pool workload and classifier function so all this stuff we will learn uh, when we are proceeding with this uh, sub-series so resource pool will have the uh, collection of resources it can be uh, allocated CPU usage or memory 
so all these stuffs are considered as a pool so for example sql server may request the operating system to give 10 percentage of cpu so that's the pool and in the memory let's say uh, 500 mb of memory so all this stuff 10 percentage of cpu and 500 this will be the resource pool one part is for cpu and another one is uh, memory right so resource pool and there may be multiple workload that will go and climb cpu from this resource pool the same way it may climb memory from this resource pool so out of this 500 mb the workload group may climb uh, give me 200 give me 100 so likewise it will go and uh, the resource will be allocated from the resource pool to the workload all right we will go with that in detail in the next coming uh, videos so far now you can uh, uh, know that uh, resource governor depends on the following components resource pool workload and uh, classifier function in this sub series we will learn how to set up and configure resource governor in the process we will also get knowledge on resource pool workload and classifier functions in real production database resource governing is a useful task if you want to experiment it in production database talk to your administrator we because it's a sensitive task if you uh, do it wrongly then uh, your entire database may uh, suffer or uh, go through a performance hit so always talk to our dba when you are uh, trying this in the production db but if it is your personal db or uh, demo db you can play around that's all here in this uh, video thank you for uh, watching bye